So a lot of people say that you have to sagers more aggressive from the bunyard. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the German Spearfishing Channel. We are here in South uh, Netherlands and now I want to explain you how to fish for flatfish. So what you need and basically is uh, around 180 gram lead um, with hooks for uh, shore fishing. For bait we use this so-called piren. Uh, there are worms, you can buy them in the fishing shop. 100 grams cost 3 euro 50. You didn't need a paternoster system, around two or three hooks. Um, what's most uh, essential is um, the rig for the fishing lines. And uh, we have two rods around four meters. And what is better not to use mono line, use uh, braided core. Braided core, this is uh, eight, eight times braided core. It's a little bit big. Uh, 23 kilograms but it's nice for throwing you don't need um, that much casting um, distance for catching flatfish and basically you throw in wait for the bait wait a little bit more and then when you're lucky you got three or two uh, two or three um, flatfish on one hook and yeah we saw them here and yesterday we had 26 and these are the baits, the so-called Piren, and we hadn't had any difference. These are um, Sagers, more aggressive and vivid ones. So a lot of people say that you have to uh, put the, the worm with a bait needle on the hook. Uh, after several years of fishing here, we made the, we made the experience that it doesn't make any difference if you just and put them over the hook several times or do it with a bait needle and for that reason we just put it on the on the hook because it um, don't cost that much time so this is how it should look like if you have any questions <sighs> oh man <Top> quality. <laughs> what is super important is uh, that you go two hours before low tide and fish for four hours two hour oh there's the bite on the left one um, and fish for two hours after the low tide when you're getting bites like this it will be flatfish um, sea bass is more aggressive and if you have sea bass you have directly to pull the line but flatfish you uh, can wait until um, some more fish will attach to the hook because when they swallow the hook they uh, won't be able to um, spit it out so you wait a little bit uh, around three minutes when you're sure it's not a sea bass um, bite and it's even better so this is a small sea bass minimum size and you should um, don't underdo it is 42 centimeters and back limit of two per day and uh, the police is going around and controlling it um, be careful don't do it because otherwise they will catch up all your equipment and you will get a big fine but um, although we are catching good having a lot of fun thank you and goodbye guys oh yeah guy platte So then you just caught a nice tong, Seezunge. That's good. Nice one, really nice, good nice, one. Nice. Sollen wir messen? Ja, Brillantes Wetter hier am letzten Tag. If you have any questions for shore fishing in the Netherlands, just write them in the comments. Build yourself a nice sitting space with some hot tea. The best time uh, for catching flatfish is normally in the winter time, this year is a little bit warm. Wir sollten nur so ein bisschen aufwärmen, nicht äh, zu Frostwärmen. Von 
von dem Bunny Arch. <lacht> Geil.